If you are into nails, you definitely have an LED lamp. But if you are also doing nail art, dual forms or soft gel tips extensions, you also need another one, a smaller free skewer LED lamp. In this video, I am going to show you my new one and how it changed the way I work. And also we are going to do summer nail art with gel polishes by Melody Susie. Coming up. Let's do the unpacking. First one is this cute bag. This is something I really need because I travel a lot, like I move my products back and forth. So I think this one is going to be great for nail art because it includes some small sections right here, maybe some brushes and tools and some products. And also I like that you can fold it and it will not keep much space. We also have a little pocket right here handle right here. So yes, I'm definitely going to keep this for storing my products. Then we have rechargeable nail lamp, two in one UV LED. Oh, I think I know what it is. I really need it. Like if you are doing soft gel extensions, you will also need this. And here's why. So this is the lamp. And this part can be easily moved. So when you're doing someone's nails and then you need to free secure something, you can bring it anywhere you want because it's moving just as close as you need and then cure. Oh, oh my God, it's, it's actually working without electricity. So this one is rechargeable. You just charge it with this wire and then it is going to work without it. Wow, that's so cool. And I will definitely be using this one because when you're doing soft gel extensions, dual forms, dual tips, some kind of designs where you really need to free secure the product. Or if you're working with, um, let's say, beaten nails, sometimes you may also need this. And finally, we have gel polish nail kit, 24 colors, small bottles of five milliliters. Let's take a look. Oh, I like that the brush is regular size. And then we have four essentials. So I assume this is going to be top coat, matte top coat, base coat, and second base coat. So we have two base coats, glossy and matte top coat. Let's try the colors. Every color has a number on top and the color, so at least you can have an idea of what color is going to be inside. Even though these are small size bottles, the brush is normal size. The consistency is medium thick, so let's try it out. This color seems to have a great coverage. Yes, look at this. One coat will definitely be enough here. And this is so great because it really saves you time when you do not need to apply multiple coats. I'm always curious how pastel yellow is going to work. And this one I think will still need two coats, but even with one coat, it still looks good. The consistency is super easy to work with. So if you are a beginner, I will recommend you to try this consistency because it is thick enough to stay in the place where you apply it. And also it is thin enough to self-level, so it will help you to achieve a perfect smooth surface. I needed two coats for these two colors because with one coat they look a little transparent, which might be still nice, you know, depending on the look you're trying to achieve. Colors look just awesome. Let's also try the top coats. This is the matte top coat, cure for 30 seconds in LED. Beautiful satin look. Please let me know if I pronounced this word correctly this time. And finally, we have a glossy top coat. And I know for sure that this is a good one because I've been using Melody Susie glossy top coat for a while. I think this collection is perfect for summer season and here's why. It includes a few pastel shades, a few bright colors and even colors that are slightly darker, they still have this hot season vibe. Also, I really like this semi-transparent like milky color, which is going to look great 
as like natural looking manicure. It has white, which is perfect within just one coat few nude and pastel colors, as well as some bright colors. And I also like that they included few yellow, orange and green colors, because most clients are kind of tired of this standard, you know, reds, dark reds, and these colors are really big in this season. And I only use two coats for these two, dark green and dark purple. All the rest of them are just applied in one coat. And matte top coat is also really good. This is my model, Emily. We are going to do gel overlay. Take a look at her beautiful nail beds. That's really nice that you have a long ones, which means we are going to have more canvas for the nail art. I'm going to start with the prep, push back the cuticles with orange wood stick, and then we're going to file and shape her nails. When you see a client who has parallel sidewalls, which means both sidewalls are going in one direction, like they're not fan, they're not looking in the different directions. This kind of shape is perfect for any nail shape, oval, almond, square, coffin, stiletto, any nail shape is going to look great. And first I was thinking to do almond shape, but since she has two nails that are shorter than the others, we can only go for one option, which is square, but square nails still are going to look great on her. Then we proceed to the dry manicure. I'm using Flame Bit Red Abrasive Mark. The speed is 16,000 rotations per minute. Then I proceed to the next part of the prep, which is taking off the surface shine. And you can use a file or a buffer for it. But when you're dealing with nails like this, which are strong and healthy, you need to use at least 180 grit abrasive. I'm using a buffer here because she doesn't have deep sidewall, so it's pretty easy to reach any area of the nail. And also make sure that you are taking off the surface shine from the top and also you work on the corners and the free edge as well. Clean all debris from underside of the nails too. I forgot to film the part when I'm trimming the eponychium and cuticles. Sorry about that, guys. If you're interested on in how to do it, I have in all the rest of my videos. And then I apply dehydrator, let dry, and then I use non-acid primer. This part is optional, but I prefer to do it on the free edge of the nail because this is usually when we get some peeling and chipping of the product. Then I'm going to apply Melody Susie base coat. Honestly, I feel a little uncomfortable whenever I need to work with a sample size product because I have a big hands and whenever I work with, you know, this like short pencils or short brushes, it's just really hard to hold it in my hand because it's just too small for it. But with Melody Suzy gel polishes, I like that even though the bottle is small, the brush is still a regular size, so it's very comfortable to apply it. When applying base coat, you need to go as close to the cuticle as possible, so then you can apply the color the same way, but at the same time, you do not need to touch it. And when you're applying it along the sidewalls, you can also leave a little margin between the skin and the product. Base coat has medium consistency, which is also very good, and you can apply it on a few nails, let's say on four nails at once, and then cure them in the lamp. While they're curing, you may apply it on the opposite hand. Cure for 30 seconds, and then we're going to apply the color. This white is just gorgeous. Just take a look at the brightness of this white, at the consistency, and this thumb have a little dips on the surface, so we'll see if we will need an additional layer or one will be enough. And also I'm going to do the design on top, a summer design, so maybe we will just go with one coat as the background. If I was going to do a regular color overlay and just leave each nail with one tone application, I will probably still use two coats on the white to make it brighter, 
but I'm going to do nail art on each nail, so I think one coat will be more than enough. By the way, I just used a small detailer brush. It's very helpful when you would like to create this perfect line near the cuticle and along the sidewalls. However, time is money, as you know, so I recommend you to practice doing this line with a regular brush from the bottle and use the detailer one only when you need to fix something. Because it is going to take less time when you're using the brush from the bottle and these are very good quality and you can achieve this perfect line near the cuticle as well as along the sidewalls. Cure in LED for 60 seconds. If you are doing two coats, remember that you need to fully cure the first coat first and then proceed to the second one. Then I take off the sticky layer, which is not necessary if you are doing the top coat application afterwards. But if you are doing nail art, it is better to do it because if you would like to have some lines that are going to stay exactly where you apply them, it is easier to do that without the sticky layer. Because the tacky layer gives this like slippery surface, so whenever you apply something, the lines are not going to be as crisp. But once it's gone, we do not need to worry about it. There are different approaches to create abstract and geometrical design. You can just hand paint all the figures and lines on top of the nails. But if you would like to create some parts of the nail art like on a different level to make this design look like it's layered, this is what you need to do. First, I added these three spots, then I cured them and apply a thin coat of the base coat. And this is the reason why I would like to do that. Some small details I'm about to add to this design, they're going to look like they're on another level of this design. You do not need to fully cure every single element of this design, freeze curing will be more than enough. And you can use this small lamp for this design. I am using this lamp for a few days now and I am impressed because it is so helpful and I wanted to show you how it works. First, you need to charge it right here and then it is going to work for a few hours. This part is rather heavy, which means it is staying on the table like no worries that it's about to fall even if you use it like this. This part is adjustable, you can twist it however you like and it is going to stay. Like one of the positions I needed was like this, because my lamp was very close to the place where I wanted to record and do client's nails. So this is what we need to do. Sometimes when you're doing extensions, like I was doing dual forms on my client Anna, she has very thick sidewalls. So I just wanted to push them back and continue holding while it's curing. And the only way to do that was to ask her hold the other lamp on top. But with this lamp, you will not have this problem. So first of all, you turn it on and this is how we have a regular light. At first I was confused. Why do we even need a regular light in LED lamp? But then it was very helpful because, first of all, I can see some details when I'm doing nail art. Also, you do not want to switch it earlier than you wish. Let's say if you have a brush, you do not want it to get cured or if you have an open jar of your gel. So when you're sure, you just tap it right here and it switches to LED lamp. And this is how we freeze cure, whether the design, the soft gel tip extensions, and then we can continue curing in a regular lamp. When you are done, you can tap it again and it will switch back to the regular light or just switch it off. This is how it can be helpful when you are doing the design. Keep in mind that you do not need to fully cure every single object. You only need to freeze cure it for about 5 to 7 seconds and then you can continue. But then, once you're finished with the design, you need to fully cure it for at least one minute in LED. And it's better to use a regular lamp. I hope I explained it well. Let's say I just created this part of the watermelon and we only need to freeze cure it for about five to seven seconds. And once you're done with this design on this nail, then you can fully cure it. But also we're working with both hands. So as you're doing design on one hand, you can fully cure it on the opposite hand as you're working with it. So why do we even need to freeze cure some objects? Well, first of all, once you created this perfect 
appear or something else on top of the nail, you do not want to ruin it. And also when you're adding objects around it, it's just better to secure it so you will not accidentally touch it or smudge it. As for me, once I create at least one perfect line, I definitely want to secure it to make sure it is going to stay there. And I'm using the same layer technique for these nails because I just like how it looks. If I didn't use the base coat in between the coats, it is going to look like a regular flat design. But as we do it, it looks like a multi-layer design. So you just apply a thin coat of the base coat, cure it for 30 seconds, take off the sticky layer because it will be easier to apply the colors on top of the surface without taking a layer and add more accents on top. Actually, with the pier, I decided it will look better if I will just add more volume onto it. So you can even outline the same objects you already added to your nail art. So they are going to look more like 3D. And things you added at the beginning, they're going to look like they're on the background. Let me know, guys, if you like this kind of abstract nail art. Then we fully cure it for 60 seconds in a regular lamp and the final part is sealing with a top coat and we're going to use a glossy top coat. 60 seconds in regular LED lamp and we're done with this look. Let me know guys what do you think, all the links to the products will be in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time here on my channel, consider subscribing as I post product reviews and nail art ideas just like this one every week. See you in my next one. Goodbye!